Since the Industrial Revolution, the population has increased in size. So, to feed everyone, it's necessary to produce more. In many countries, monoculture, which means cultivating a single plant species at a time, has been developed. It's generally more productive for farmers. Nevertheless, it's also more vulnerable to diseases and parasites. Consequently, 30% of crops are reveyed worldwide, resulting in a dramatic decline in productivity. This is why scientists have developed many solutions like pesticides. However, pesticides have side effects on the environment and on human health. In addition, they reduce biodiversity and alter the way the ecosystem works. Are there any other solutions? Fortunately, many solutions are already possible to reduce our environmental impact, like aquaponic farms, permaculture, or biological pest control. There are different pests. They can be exotic species, introduced from another country, or they can be local species. To find efficient biological pest control solutions, we have to study their life cycle and their evolution. One solution is to use phenolic compounds produced by plants to regulate weeds with allochemicals. Another solution is to control wild males to prevent them from reproducing with females. This technique uses pheromones, so it's particularly suited to greenhouse crops. Finally, some species which can stop the life cycle of a pest by parasitizing them or killing them can also be used. These species, fungi, bacteria or insects are called auxiliaries. For example, we are going to show you the mummification of pests by a parasitoid wasp. This pest causes a lot of damage on crops. Here is the aphid. Good news! A predator is coming! During its life cycle, the wasp has to lay its eggs in another organism. To grow, the larva needs to eat the host. When they are adults, larvae get out of the dead aphid. Some laboratories are specialized in this field. Taking an agricultural problem as a starting point, they select the best auxiliary. Then they give this insect to a company specializing in auxiliary multiplication. Farmers buy the company product to use it on their fields. Therefore, they can decrease pest damage and the loop is completed. However, nothing is simple in life. Indeed, for example, the Drosophila Suzuki fly, a particular pest which came from Japan in 2009, attacks Mediterranean cherry trees. Drosophila Suzuki is responsible for a lot of damages and losses for cherry farmers. The CTIFL, a technical center working for the fruit and vegetable industry, studies this pest. Because the pest is not local, a local auxiliary which is able to eliminate it does not exist. So, they are still looking for an exotic auxiliary that will be safe for the local ecosystem. Besides, they found another solution like physical barriers. Nets are 100% efficient and stop the pest. However, it's a complicated solution because nets stop every kind of insects, including pollinators. Therefore, some companies like Coppert have developed artificial hives to pollinate undercover crops. Another problem appears with the use of barriers in agriculture. Barriers, like undercover crops and tarpaulins, are mainly composed of plastic. They can also protect crops and soils against weeds, drought and erosion. Unfortunately, this plastic is not biodegradable and pollutes soils for decades. Therefore, laboratories have produced a special plastic made from starch. To 
improve his concept, our company, Miselop, has created a new protective biodegradable layer made with fungi. Fungi account for 45% of soil organisms. Fungi are ubiquitous and some of them play a vital role in plant growth. Some can be pathogenic and can be used in biological pest control. For example, entomopathogenic fungi attack specific insects and seriously disable or kill them. Core layer is made from filamentous fungi. It is inoculated with entomopathogenic spores. This innovation both consoles pests and provides crops with nutrients. With this process, we hope we'll change farming practices and set an example. Don't forget, setting an example is not the best way to convince. It is the only one.